I'm camouflaged. So what is camouflage? Camouflage is the act of being disguised by blending in with your surroundings or looking like something else. Organisms throughout the world use camouflage as a way to help them survive and thrive in their environment. They've evolved over thousands and millions of years in order to be that way. Both prey and predators use camouflage as a way to help them survive. Throughout this video I'm going to talk about five different ways that organisms use camouflage. The first type of camouflage I want to talk about is disguise. That's when animals blend in with their surroundings by looking like another object. One of the coolest examples of an organism that uses disguise is the stick insect or walking stick. It looks extremely similar to any old stick you might see in the forest. Therefore it blends in very well helping it stay hidden from predators. The second type of camouflage is called disruptive coloration. That's when an animal has spots, stripes, or patterns to break up their outline so it doesn't stick up against the background. One of the most common examples of an animal that uses disruptive coloration is the zebra. The zebra has such an odd coloration especially because it lives in the plains of Africa. But scientists think that it does this just to make it difficult to distinguish one zebra from the next. So, for instance, if it is being chased by a lion, the zebras running in a herd are difficult to distinguish one from another. That way, a lion would have difficulty finding which zebra to take down. The third type of camouflage is called concealing coloration. That's when an animal hides itself against a background of the same color. One of the most beautiful creatures that uses concealing coloration is the snowy owl. It has a very white color in order to help it blend into the arctic surroundings. One cool fact about the snowy owls, they're not nocturnal like most owls. Rather they are active during both day and night and they therefore are something called diurnal. The next type of camouflage is called mimicry. That's when animals or insects look like other dangerous, bad tasting, or poisonous animals. One of the coolest and sneakiest organisms that uses mimicry camouflage is the Viceroy butterfly. The Viceroy has almost identical patterns and coloration to the monarch butterfly. But why would one butterfly want to look like another? Because the monarch is poisonous. That way, when a predator sees the Viceroy butterfly, it thinks it's a monarch and it doesn't want to get poisoned. The next type of camouflage is called countershading. That's when an animal has different coloration on different parts of its body in order to blend in. An example of countershading is a great white shark. Notice how its skin is darker gray on the top and a lighter white on the bottom. This is believed to counteract the light which comes from the top, which lightens the gray, to make the animal look like one solid color when swimming, while also helping him blend into the water. This camouflage helps the great white shark in approaching his prey without even being detected. There are even some animals in the world, such as cuttlefish, which are able to change their color depending on its particular surroundings. The cuttlefish is often called the chameleon of the sea. They have special pigments throughout their body that help them change color when they need to. Also, cuttlefish is actually not a fish, but a type of invertebrate called a mollusk. Some animals use two different types of camouflage. The white-tailed deer, for instance, is believed to use concealing coloration to hide itself against the background of its environment, but it is also believed that it uses countershading. Its white bottom helps it blend with the forest floor, and its darker top blends with the white sky. Therefore, it is hard to detect from different angles and in different environments. Remember to look out for camouflaged creatures all around you.